The internet is something we all take for granted. It has permeated through the fabric of most of our lives to the point that many of us can't imagine living without it. Despite its status as a crucial underpinning for modern society, it's a relatively recent innovation, and 40 years ago, few people could predict how important it would become. Today we'll explore the earliest conceptualizations of the internet, and how it managed to explode in popularity faster than any similar technological advance. This is the history of the internet. Before I get started, much of the internet's rise was dependent on the development of computers. If you would like to understand how computers were invented, check out my other video on the history of computers. The fundamental concept at the heart of how the internet works is data communication and being able to transmit information from different locations. Electrical telegraphs in the 19th century were the first devices that provided this functionality. They were then superseded by telephones invented a few decades later. However, telegraphs and telephones both had major drawbacks, since they could only communicate point to point between two devices. As computers advanced in the mid 20th century, physical networks of computers became more common. This allowed the transfer of files and information over longer distances. One major limitation of these networks was that the physical link was necessary for the network to function, and a broken link would sever the connection, making the concept less practical for military and strategic purposes. In the 1960s, Paul Buran and Donald Davies independently helped develop the concept of packet switching. This consists of separating the information being transmitted across a network into individual packets, which are sent and treated separately. This increases the efficiency of the network and makes it less susceptible to a single point of failure. Packet switching was critical to the development of the internet and is used by the vast majority of networks today. In 1966, the Defense Research Agency DARPA envisioned a system to efficiently connect three different network terminals. This became known as the ARPANET. The first link was established in 1969 between Stanford University and the University of California, Los Angeles. The technologies developed and lessons learned during the creation of ARPANET would prove to become the foundation of the internet as we know it today. In the mid-1970s, scientists involved with the ARPANET project developed the Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol, which looked to solve the core problems in networking via a set of standardized rules. Today, these protocols are referred to as TCP IP and underpin the fabric of the modern internet. Through the 1970s, ARPANET continued to expand and add hosts, both in the US and around the world. Even though the primary purpose of DARPA was to fund research and not manage communications infrastructure, ARPANET eventually outgrew this designation and was destined to become a perpetual communications platform. As a result, by the early 1980s, parts of ARPANET were broken up into multiple independent networks, including those that supported US military operations and scientific research. In addition, the TCP IP protocols ARPANET pioneered saw widespread adoption across the globe, including in Europe, Australia, Japan, and South Korea. The late 1980s saw the rise of internet service providers that offered access to regional research networks used by universities and governmental organizations. This time period also saw the emergence of the World Wide Web Protocol, which allowed web elements to be hyperlinked to one another and enable easier navigation across the internet. The 1990s and early 2000s are typically referred to as the Web 1.0 era. 
During this time, the general public began to be exposed to the internet, and it started to gain traction among households. The first web browsers began to appear, with Netscape Navigator and Internet Explorer being dominant in the late 1990s. Internet Explorer was bundled with Windows, the most popular computer operating system of the time. This led to an antitrust lawsuit by the US government against Microsoft. Websites in this era were primarily text-based, with limited use of visuals and other effects. Early applications included email, e-commerce, as well as online boards and forums. Amazon was founded by Jeff Bezos in 1994 as an online bookstore, but by the end of the decade, it was selling a wide variety of consumer goods. The late 1990s saw a rapid rise in speculation over internet-based companies. Fueled by excitement over the growth of the web, many tech startups with limited earnings or profitability were able to easily attract investment. The Nasdaq Composite Stock Market Index rose 400% between 1995 and 2000, before falling by 80% in just two years. The index didn't reach its 2000 peak until 2015. One of the most iconic companies that failed during what became known as the dot-com bubble was Pets.com, which went bankrupt just nine months after going public in November 2000. Even well-known companies had failed ventures, such as Yahoo's acquisition of GeoCities and Disney's Go.com. Starting in the mid-2000s, the early internet began to evolve into the Web 2.0 era, which continues even today. This saw further adoption of the internet among the general population, as it became something that people rely on every day. Computing advancements led to faster devices and internet speeds. This resulted in more dynamic websites filled with interactive content and visuals. Another major trend of the Web 2.0 era was the rise in user-generated content, which paved the way for platforms such as YouTube. Social media also benefited, with MySpace being the early leader in the field that was overtaken by Facebook and Twitter. Overall, this time period saw increasing consolidation among websites, as large companies like Google gained influence in what content people saw on the internet. The final pillar of the Web 2.0 era was the mobile revolution, which catapulted the internet into the pockets of people around the planet. While wealthy countries had been using the internet for years, the rise of inexpensive smartphones exploded web use in the developing world. Since Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone in 2007, the number of active internet users has increased by a factor of five. Today, the internet is something that many of us consider as indispensable as electricity or running water. So much of our lives revolve around it, whether we're ordering a package, hailing a ride, researching scientific articles, or working remotely with colleagues. It's something we take for granted, and it achieved widespread adoption faster than any technology developed before it. In the coming years, the internet will continue to expand its reach over our daily routines. Everything from clothing to medical implants could one day be connected to the web, performing real-time language translation or health analysis. Overall, despite its imperfections, the future of the internet and its ability to improve our lives remains something to look forward to. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like or leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see everyone in the next video.